Okay, next we'll go Cal, California. Um, I won't make the ACC joke. We, we've all heard it. But their win total is set at six and a half. Their head coach, Justin Wilcox, has been there for a while. He's done some good things. Uh, their quarterback, Fernando Mendoza, returns. <sighs> People are pretty high on Cal this year. Um, Jaden Knott at running back is probably their mm -hmm. best player. They have decent talent at receiver. They brought in a transfer uh, from Notre Dame, um, Merriweather, who I'm fairly familiar with. Never really put it together, but maybe he can do it for Cal. Their defense was shockingly bad last year for a Justin Wilcox team. I I don't know, man. I, I'm not quite as high on this as Vegas seems to want me to be. So I'm going under. I The schedule isn't terrible, but it's also not easy for a fringe bowl team, which is kind of what I view them to be. Mm -hmm. I'll say they go six and six, which would be, which would be under six and a half. When I sat down and looked at the Cal schedule, I was like, there's no shot that they are that high. I do not understand how their number is that high. I'm actually going to do the Uno reverse card right here. Oh, someone knows something that I don't. Cal, Cal apparently is sneaky good because there's no – we haven't seen any good reason for them to have an over-under of six and a half. You're saying that they have to win seven games to cash? Hmm. All of that <laughs> said, I'm not falling for this. Vegas knows something. I'm going with this. Um, we're going over on Cal. It was so suspiciously off. Yeah, that, like you have to you have to just smell the rat here a little bit. So I'm going to go over against all of my best judgment because this thing screams under. I agree with you sitting there and looking at it and you're like, no, no shot. No, no <laughs> chance. Yeah, Jay Knott is a really, really good running back, too. Like, yeah. like Jay Knott slander will not be tolerated um, by me. I think he's really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and go over. <laughs> I, it feels funny. Something here just feels funny. I. Uh... I guess I could see that you know, the Pac-12 was really good last year. So it was you, solid. They're, Very they're, much, yeah. they're moving to an easier conference, honestly. Right. So, right. And if they're just a little better than people think, then, yeah, then maybe they win a bunch of these toss-up games that we view as toss-up games. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm still in the under just because I can't quite get there, and it, it makes too much sense to me to go under. But I, I guess, yeah, hey. Props to you for for smelling the rat. I guess I I will go ahead and not smell the rat. I will I will eat the rat. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that, this was a Cal team that was solid. They were sneaky solid last sure. year. Sure. They they should have beat Auburn. Um, they kept it close with Washington for a while. They beat up UCLA. They beat Washington State. Um, they I mean this was a bowl team hmm. that is going to an easier conference. So sure. yeah, like in in like. I, I guess by by that standpoint, I I think it shows that Vegas had a lot of trust in how good the Pac-12 was. That's that kind of what I, where where I can take from it is that you know they think Cal is going to be really physical, um, and that the ACC is going to yeah have to catch up to them a little bit. Like they're going to be more physical than a lot of those teams are going to run into. So yeah, I'm I'm going to at least I'm going to use that as my hey I have to have kind of some kind of arguing <laughs> point here, um, and that's what I'm going to go with. So yeah, we're going Cal, rolling with Cal. Cal's our team this year. All right.